Hello everyone, Chandler here, and today I am joined by the wonderful, the amazing, introduce yourself. Lachlan Watson. Talk That's about me. what you do. I am an actor, and I am on a show. So talk about your character. It's it's interesting. I, I play, I'm non-binary, but I play a trans character, so my character is a trans guy. I, it's so important to me, like, to be able to represent any sort of, like, gender queerness at all. So what is representation? What does representation mean to you? Representation to me means seeing yourself reflected back, relating to someone in a way that is deeper than surface level. Whether that means like an exact copy or just someone that you like feel like you understand. Like for me personally, one of the things that I like to show with representation is it is very important to me um, that when I was younger, I did not see queer people, specifically non-binary people, right. being adults. And so it's very important to me that something I show my audience is that, yes, I am non-binary and I'm also being able to live like an right. adult life. <laughs> I'm being able to get a job and I'm being able to right. have my own place since I'm moving into my own apartment later this year and I'm able to do all of these things that society tells us we're not allowed to be in public right. to do. Right. And so for me, representation is not only saying I'm queer, but it's saying I'm queer and I can do so right. much. I'm queer and like, I've found like success and like yeah. happiness and I'm like th actually yes. thriving. So how did you feel the first time that you saw some sort of representation that you related to? And what was it? I, that's the thing though, is I don't even know, I don't know. I related more to like, Yoda in Star Wars than so, anyone else, and like that's sad. <laughs> so how did you feel then by not having representation that you could relate to? It's very isolating. It was hard to like know who I was and to like allow myself to be who I was like fully. Even just like bits and tiny pieces of like representation where I was like, oh, I relate to that. Was were like so magical, but it made the journey to like just accepting myself for who I was, just allowing myself to feel whatever I felt like I needed to feel or was feeling at that moment, like, it just, it made that process so much harder, where I know I would have been so much more accepting of who I was if I had seen that, like, who I was is okay. I talk about this often, that the whole reason I started my YouTube channel as a LGBTQ channel, because I was not making LGBTQ content right. before I came out as trans. Mm. In one video, very briefly, when I was 14, I went, Some people think I'm a dude, but I am, in fact, a chick. <laughs> and I think I said that I was a lesbian, and that was it. I am a lesbian. I mean, most people mistake me for a dude anyway. But, uh, I am a chick. That's really wow. the very minimal... <laughs> Uh, talking about LGBTQ identities that I did. Non-binary icon. Yeah, I know. And so, the reason that I started my channel as I'm gonna talk about my trans identity mm -hmm. was because I had just come out to myself as non-binary and as any nervous, newly out person to themselves mm -hmm. does, I was like, I gotta find some resources. Yeah. And I remember I went onto YouTube and I tried searching up age gender YouTubers and I did not find a single person I could relate to. I, f I remember I found one person who went back and forth between identifying as agender and a trans man, but then he later came out as a trans man, and I said, well, that's not how I feel. Right. And I found another person who said that they didn't feel necessarily like they didn't have a gender. Mm -hmm. They just felt like they didn't have the word for it yet, so they were just using agender more as a placeholder until right. they found their real word. Right. And I was like, well, that's not how I feel either. Right. And so it's because I could not find a community that I decided I've got to start making videos talking about myself right. so that I can create the community that I can't find. Yeah. Speaking from the flip side of representation, mm -hmm. as a person who is looked at as a form of representation, uh, how do you feel essentially being seen as a role model and being seen as like someone that people look up to as non-binary representation and as trans representation. It feels amazing because it's something that I craved so badly as a kid. Like, I just, I wanted anyone who looked like me, talked like me, like, thought like I did. Like, I didn't, I didn't really have that. And so, like, wanting that so badly and still having that, like, 
like void where I'm like, I don't have that. It just, that void gets a little filled, like just knowing that I can be that for somebody else. And it's, it's really cool because my character on the show started off as trans, plain and simple. And then... Like that the person was already going to be identifying as trans from the get-go. Right, and yeah. if that wasn't the case, I think they were going to come out as a trans ma man, like two episodes in, mm -hmm. or something like that. And so that's the role that I got cast in. And then in me showing up and being vocal and being proud of who I was, and finally being in a place to speak about who I was and know who I was, I influenced the writers a little bit, like the, the writers and our producer, to just like hold off a second because I think they realized that like oh we can do something more with this we can tell this trans storyline but we can also show this like gray area where it's okay to not know it'll be very interesting to see if my character transitions like I did because I transitioned from lesbian to a trans guy to being non-binary because it's, then that also shows the fluidity of identity because right. there are so many different stories and right. this is like something that the media firstly barely gives us any stories but when they do give us stories it's like the one right. trans trauma story i felt like i was trapped in the wrong body yep. from day one and now i'm a man and i'm fine and yeah. happy and i will forever be happy like this and while there are so many people that feel that way and can relate to that the like two stories out there that they're right. that they're being told um there are so many people also that experience the fluidity of well i'm actually not sure but the fact that they listened to you and they were like, we're willing to also show this other story where maybe someone doesn't immediately know right. from the get-go, this is what's going on. Yeah, and it would be especially cool if like Theo kept transitioning. I feel like queer storylines, especially trans storylines, are shown as like being trans means going from like point A to point B and then that's it. It's, and like, it's like a straight line, it's just a you straight do line all these and things. That's literally yeah. like, that's all you've got. Yeah. It's just whoop, and then you're done and then you're happy and you're good. Whereas like, I never ever felt that. I've come out like three times in my life as three different things. Most people are always like, oh, then that means that it's just a phase and yada yada. And it's like, well, no, we need to stop shaming the idea of phases because any journey where someone is going on to self-discovery of being able to traverse something to learn more about themselves is something that should be admirable. Right. Because you are taking the time out of your plans in your life to be able to figure out how you are the most comfortable. Yeah. And if that ends up with you realizing I'm cis and I'm heterosexual, then that's fine because right. at least you took time to want to learn who you are. Right. And to want to really like understand yourself. And then in doing that, you'll mm -hmm. better understand Other everyone people. else yeah. in your life because you will have understood that like understanding who you are is a process and mm -hmm. it's not just like the default or other it's yes. like everyone has a journey in what life. is the purpose of representation like what do you hope as being a person who plays this character what do you hope that the audience will get from that i think ultimately the goal is just acceptance mm -hmm. it's normalization and acceptance because the amount of non-binary characters that i know of off the top of my head i can count on like one hand and that's all that does is just reinforces the idea that like people like us are different or like rare or like weird. I want to show people who are not in our communities that we are not something to be afraid of. Right. That like our differences are not something that should be looked down upon or that they should be like excluded from society. Like everyone should be able to have a seat at the table, right? And right. everyone should be able to talk about the experiences that they have in life without anyone else like batting an eyelash about like, oh, I don't feel comfortable talking about right. this. Like just because you don't share someone's experience doesn't mean it's an experience that's not worth hearing. Right. One of the goals with normalization is where someday in the future I can just casually say, yeah, I'm non-binary. My goal is I just want people to be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Because you don't have to fully understand it. Right. Or fully understand like someone else's different experience to be able to be like, oh yeah, I'm okay with that. Right. Because our differences, they enrich us. They make us like a stronger community. So thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of my video. Absolutely. And if you like this person and you enjoy them, you can follow them on social media. I will link them down below. And you can also watch the show that they're in. Wow. Which is The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina That's on so Netflix. exciting. You can. You can you do can. that. You can. And you can also watch the second season now. Oh my god. That's amazing. Or part. I don't know if they describe it. it. Whatever way so they describe it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and um, I will also put my links down below that you can follow and you can subscribe if you are new here. You can like this video Yay. if you liked the video. And we will see you very soon.
Bye. <laughs> you could do the peace sign. Oh, wow. Yeah. The Chandler peace sign. The peace sign where you cover where all you your face. You cover your entire face. <laughs> Bye. Bye.